Hello and welcome to Bread of Life. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Mark Sharnick of Meriden. Greetings again in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Again, it is such an honor to be with you, to have opportunity to share from God's holy word. Our topic this week is the must sees found in Isaiah chapter 6. The things that we must see. See, Isaiah saw the Lord high and lifted up. He saw the Lord as king. He saw the Lord as holy. He saw himself as unworthy. And today I want to look at this, that he saw the solution. And we must see the solution. Only the purging fire of God, friends, will change us. The coal, notice if you look at Isaiah chapter 6, the coal of fire was taken from the altar of God. There was no other remedy. It, it, Isaiah, in his good works, in his, in his greatest wishes, could not have altered his situation. He was hopelessly sinful. He was undone. Woe is me, he said. Only the purging fire of God, only the coal taken from the altar of God was the remedy for his condition. He saw his sin and he saw his helplessness. Fire, in the word of God, is an indication of the presence of the Holy Spirit. He said, I am a man of unclean lips. Well, sin, friends, is the condition of the heart. His problem was a condition of the heart. The Bible says, though, for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. And so fire was placed upon his lips. Let me just explain this. Isaiah had come to realize the effect of sin. It was an attitude of the heart. It was a condition of the heart, but it was manifested in his speech. And so the fire was applied to the affected area. We must offer ourselves completely to God so that he could touch with fire the affected areas of our lives. No one said it wouldn't be painful. Or if they did, they lied. (laughs) No one said that coming to God and being purged of sin would not be a painful thing. Purging hurts. You know, you go to the dentist. You got a a cavity in your tooth. The dentist just doesn't fill that hole with that goop. No, he, he or she first drills the cavity. He drills first, and and it's painful. If you take Novocaine, hey, that's painful too. There's pain involved, but it must be in order to get out the decay. For there to be healing. Cancer must be cut out. It must be eradicated uh, and then treated with intensity. Why? Because you choose the lesser of the two pains. The pain of treatment. The pain of purging or death. The Bible says in Ezekiel chapter 18 and verse 4, that the soul that sinneth, it shall die. Friends, there is no other remedy for our condition but the fire, the purging fire of God's holiness. God has made a way. Your sin can be removed. Your heart can be changed. Your lips or other areas of your life can be cleansed only by coming to God through Jesus Christ, by exposing your very soul to his cleansing power. The purging fire of God is able to restore you, and I pray that you will seek the Lord today. You've been listening to Pastor Mark Sharnick of Meriden, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.